Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna need a Red Bull, a Monster, a coffee, a tea, a non-caffeinated beverage because today it's not gonna be a good one. It's budget box battle time. Today we're gonna open the June budget box. I already know what's in here and quite frankly had I not been doing these videos I don't think I'd have got this one um, but I promise you guys that I would review every box from April to April so here we are um yeah this is not yeah it's just not okay let's just get into it because I kind of want to get this video over I don't like being negative, but um, yeah, I don't really have any choice with this one. Okay, so first off, let's talk about the two things I am happy about. These are from the new Picnic collection. I got quite a lot of stuff from the Picnic collection to talk about um, in a couple of weeks. But we've got two of the new, the Cheek of It liquid highlighters. So I got Trust Fund and Sugar Daddy. I think Trust Fund is the orange which I wanted because I feel like it will make a beautiful blush topper. Um, yes, brilliant. Trust Fund is the orange. These work very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury ones, I believe. I want to be very gentle. I don't love the fact, again, P. Louise is doing um, sponge tip applicators. Like, you're meant to be a brand for makeup artists. I don't really get the sponge tip thing. Um, but for me, just on my own, that is beautiful. So that one is Trust Fund. Trust Fund. And then we've got Sugar Daddy. I don't think I've seen this one. I think the other couple of boxes I've watched, they got the pink one. And I can't remember what that one was called, but I don't think it's called Trust Fund. Okay, this is like the lighter pink one. Um, because it's like a, a more like baby pink and then a lighter pink one. And this one, I might actually be able to use as highlighter. Ooh, yeah, it's like a pinky with gold reflect. I definitely could use that as a highlighter. I'm looking forward to that one. So that one's Sugar Daddy. So, um, that is basically about it that I'm glad about in this box. Um, the next thing we got is the Hey Hot Tea Blackcurrant Burst Sugar Club Lip Scrub. Um, I like these, but I do definitely prefer them in a, like a set form um, because I really, really like the lip overnight lip masks or whatever they call them. Let's give this one a smell. I'm not, I'm not hating on this product. I don't hate this idea that this is in here. It does smell really good. I really like these lip scrubs. Um, they're very nice. Quite similar if you don't buy from He Who Shall Not Be Named anymore, <laughs> Jeffree Star. Um, these are quite similar to his lip scrubs. So yes, I like them. Um, I don't love the fact that, that but that's in there. I believe that was from the Picnic collection as well. And then the main bits of the box this month. I just think, oof, I just think they've gone too far with this one. So um, we got a Learning Lines makeup brush set. So this has got three small brushes in for the next product. Um, now for me personally, um, I don't like angle brushes for liner and these two aren't really long enough for me um i and if you are a regular you will know love using the glisten really long brushes so i probably will use these every now and again but they're not going to be something that i use all the time i kind of wish they'd included like a really long liner brush so you can get that really like flowy cut crease kind of thing and this is the main item in this month's box this is the off the record you rock my world um very cool packaging i will say it's kind of designed to look like a record i think that's why the liner brushes are in the shape of a microphone oh my god let me just get in here bear with 
Let me tell you that. Tell the tape was playing hard to get. So it's in the shape of a record. Feels very weighty. This is a water activated liner palette. Um, now, you know I love water liners. You know Glisten Cosmetics is one of my favourite brands. I absolutely adore. But I just don't think we need 5,000 shades of brown. Now I understand, once again, P. Louise is a brand for makeup artists. These budget boxes are for makeup artists. But if you are a makeup artist, you do not need 30 shades of neutral eyeliner because you can mix 30 shades of neutral eyeliner from about six different liners. Um, it's big, it's, it's cumbersome. Love the packaging, I think it's super, super cute, but I just don't ever see myself using it. And like I said, that's why I wish that these were kind of more like tailored to liner, uh, to water liner. They are just normal liner brushes in my eyes. Um, I just don't think you need like 17 shades of grey and dark brown when you've got a white and a black so you can make whatever shade of grey you want. They've kind of left this thing in the middle for mixing and I'm like, well, what do you need to mix? You've got every bloody colour under the sun there. Well, every brown under the sun. Um, they have also released a bright version and a pastel version of this palette. I probably would use those more but I still don't like the concept. I still think it's unnecessary. Um, so I'm kind of gutted with this month's box. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the liquid highlighters, I'm really excited to try and I will use the lip scrub, but these just, they're not gonna get the use that I want to get out of them and what the use that normal products in my budget box kind of get to. It's not a matter of shade with these. I just think that they've just missed the mark with this one personally. So, um, like the cheek of it, excited to try these, um, and the, like I said, the lip scrub I'll use. What can I rate this box? I'm gonna give it like a four and a half. Honestly, I'm really, really disappointed. Um, I just, we've had some great boxes lately, and although they've been like shade determined, which hasn't been great, I just think this is, this is something that I'm never gonna use i will probably use this a couple of times um purely just to try out the formula but like i said i love glisten they come in little tiny pots i can chuck them in my bag um yeah i think a lot of people don't know what water activated liner is so it's quite exciting that she's brought out water activated liners because i feel like they'll reach like a wider market but it's not for me it's not for me so we're giving it a 4.5. I think I'm being generous, to be honest. Um, what did you think of this month's box? Because I just think this, this missed the mark. It really did. I do hope, I know this video is negative and I'm very, very rarely negative, but I do hope you did enjoy it anyway. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me, hit subscribe. And if you want to make sure you never miss another video, then hit that bell icon. I'm gonna leave my P. Louise Budget Box Battle playlist down below. This is the fourth video I think we've done. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave that down below. Um, they are a lot more positive than this one was. Um, but yeah, I just think with her launch in the Picnic collection, I feel like she really missed the mark to include some more products from that. Um, and yeah, it's a sad one, a sad one. Um, right, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I'm gonna put this to the back of a shelf and probably never touch it again um don't forget to subscribe i love you a lot so you've been fabulous i've been called the ball and i'll see you next time bye